Okay, today I want to we will gonna show you about the heating actuator for the KNX and what are the features ones what we use. This we have a two heating actuators for the KNX to control uh, underflow heating and we're gonna go to connect a manifold that actually is not connected now yet. We're gonna do it today. Uh, this is we using a uh, heating actuators because uh, they have a, a room controller inside. And one of the benefits, there's a couple of benefits actually. If you don't need to use a, I show you here. You don't need to use in a, in a room, a room controller. It should be usually originally here, but it's not here. You only need to use a switch and take a temperature from the switch. And the wall makes cleaner and less, like, uh, not so expensive because you don't need to use it. The room controllers, they are much more expensive than a switch. That's one of the reasons for using it. And the heating you control from the app, because it's just a very simple, you set it up on temperature and don't need to change it. That's one of the reasons for using a, like that setup on this particular houses, that's a Balfour's house. And now this, this is a heating manifold here for the underflow heating. Uh, so it's like that. And it's not connected yet. This is the cables. Uh, Gonna do today, and this will be connected to for each man, for each zone of the manifolds. And later on, we're gonna program it and show you how it works. That's all. Now you can do your your, your magic. Okay. <laughs> all right. So what I'm gonna do first is to um, make sure these markings on the cables matches the markings on the cables in the bathroom in a manifold. So I can see here cable one coming from the manifold and cable 2 just to make sure that cable 1 here matches cable 1 there and cable 2 here matches cable 2 there we have the list of uh, volts and we can see for example that master, master bedroom yeah so for master bedroom we've got two volts and that, that will be our zone 1 those two volts here 1 and 2 Will be control will go to the actuator and we'll take one channel for them and that will be all zone one. All zone two will be dressing room, which takes two volts again. Then zone three would be master bathroom. Okay, so I have connected <coughs> all the valves to their designated uh, cables, wires. What's left to do inside the manifold is to connect all the neutrals together, which I'm gonna do right now. And then we're moving on to the board. Okay, time for the test. Uh, as shown previously, we've connected the uh, cables onto their specific uh, designated um, place on the uh, connector block. We've got the legs going down to the actuator. Actuate us, because we got two, but we're only gonna use one for this manifold. There we go, we got our interface SV Home from Jung, and that's the master bedroom. 
If we switch it on, we should see the channel switch on over there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> How many seconds does it take? Oh, there you go. Okay, and now if we go over to the manifold, this will take a few minutes, <laughs> but we can just uh, stop it. And uh, these two valves are for master bedroom. They are controlled by the uh, by the channel that we just turned on, and we should be able to see how the valves are opening. Okay. All right. So we can see that the two valves have opened now, and that means that the uh, underfloor heating is working in the master bedroom. And uh, what we're gonna do now is uh, switch it off, switch it back off. Uh, now we're gonna switch it off, turn off the the channel. Oh. 